Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to use ASP.NETMVC in .NET Core. Before moving ahead, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. This video tutorial basically explains how to use ASP.NETMVC in the new .NET Core. In this video tutorial, I'll explain you with a sample hello world program, how to configure MVC and how to create a simple program in ASP.NETMVC. So let's start. So from the file menu, we'll select the new option and new project. Here we'll select ASP.NET Core web application. Here I'll give a suitable name to our project. Now I'll click on the create button. This will open up another pop-up where I'll select the project type as empty. I'm selecting project empty so that I can explain you from scratch which are the things required or which are the things which we have to create or make a note. So now the project is ready. Let's move to the solution explorer where I'll give you some information about the project structure. At present if you notice the project structure is very similar to an empty MVC project. So at start both look similar, but then the folder structure and the pages which are created are different and hence the two technologies are rather different. So first thing we have to do is install a package. So I'm opening the package manager console. So the package will be installed from NuGet. So now I'm writing the command for installing the package. The first package is ASP.NET Core MVC. So as you can see, I'm installing ASP.NET Core MVC version 2.1. So as you can see, the package installation is complete. Now let's move to the solution explorer. MVC pattern consists of three parts, model, view and controller. Model is used for holding data view for displaying the data and controller for processing the data. Now here I am creating a folder controllers and I'll be adding a controller to it. So I am right clicking it, add and new controller. Here I am selecting empty option for the controller and then I'll click on add. Now I'll set a controller name. I'm setting the name as home. So my controller name will be home controller and then I'll click on add. So as you can see, this is how a controller looks. It has a action result method named index, which returns a view function. Now let's add a view. I will right click inside the action method and then click add view option. Here I am selecting reserve view option. And now I'll click on add. Now here I will uncheck the layout page option as I am not using layout page and then I'll click add. So this is how a view looks. Now let's move to the solution explorer. Now before starting the actual programming, we'll do some configuration in the startup.cs class. Now inside the configure services method, I'll be adding the MVC service. Also in the configure method, you have to call the method app.useMVC and there you have to configure the routes just as we did in the normal MVC project. So the configuration part is completed. So I'll run the application and see whether it is working perfectly or not. So as you can see, the index page is showing. That means our project is perfectly configured. So I'll now close the browser and move back to the index model page where we'll do the further programming. So now here I'll be displaying a message from controller inside the view. For that purpose, I'll be making use of view bag object. View bag allows us to create a dynamic objects. That means we don't have to define the data type. For example, I am here creating a message object. 
which will hold the string value that means automatically it has been converted into a string variable so this particular string value will be displayed in the view using view back so now in the view i'll be making use of razor syntax and i'll be writing the code to display the view back message object so that's it we can now run the code and see it in action so you can see that the message from the controller is now displaying in the view so with this we come to the end of this video so today we learned how to create a simple mvc core project also we learned how to pass data from controller to view and also display it in view the link for the source code is available in the description thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon